Item number SCP-6323 Object Class Cutter Special containment procedures. Our foundation cover company has been established to dissuade civilian investigation of SCP-6323, purporting that it is the work of a group of university students specializing in animatronics for social media purposes. A robotics team is to maintain an ongoing blog with falsified images depicting SCP-6323-2 in various locations, with the explanation that the delivery of baked goods is part of the test runs for the animatronic animal's range of motion. The blog posts are to be artificially delayed so as to make it impossible for civilians to follow the current alleged locations of the SCP-6323-2 test runs. Should SCP-6323 be noted to interact directly with civilians, a field agent is to interview any individuals involved, claiming that they are doing so for a campus newspaper. Amnestics may be applied as necessary, as of currently, it is determined that there is no need to confiscate muffins distributed by SCP-6323. Description SCP-6323 appears to be a middle-aged male human of indeterminate ethnicity possessing unremarkable facial features. SCP-6323 is constantly accompanied by a male Messiah Giraffe. Designated SCP-6323-2, which, due to its exhibited intelligence and comprehension of human speech, is believed to be anomalous. Based on observation data gathered by field agents assigned to the SCP-6323 case, it is currently believed that SCP-6323-2 can only be perceived by approximately 15% of observers. While Foundation attempts to track SCP-6323 and its accomplice have failed to identify meaningful travel patterns, it is currently understood that both entities follow currently consistent behaviors. SCP-6323 will distribute baked goods, typically muffins of various flavors, to individuals' places of work, with the explanation that someone thought they, the recipient, could use a treat. The food delivered by SCP-6323 has been determined to be non-anomalous. Recipients of food from SCP-6323 typically exhibit signs of depression and anxiety. SCP-6323 will often consult SCP-6323-2's opinion on future recipients, with the two often engaging in people watching. Observing people and their actions in a public place. Often also using the observations to guess at people's personal stories or backgrounds. After making a delivery, SCP-6323 and SCP-6323-2 will disappear from view within 30 minutes of making a delivery. Addendum SCP-6323-1 On December 25th, 2021, Foundation operatives at Site-17 were able to intercept SCP-6323 at a nearby shopping mall. Dr. R. Mercer was able to engage SCP-6323 in a short interview after offering it a muffin from a nearby bakery. See Excerpted Interview Log below. Excerpt from Interview Log SCP-6323-1 Thanks for speaking with me. My colleagues have been curious about your work for so long. Thank you for the muffin. You're welcome. How do you start up with what you do? Let's just say I wanted a change of pace and to make up for some things I regret. And I went to someone that would allow me to do that, if in a strange manner. To confirm, you're not human, are you? Not particularly. But you interacted with humans frequently. Yes, they were my original clients, so to speak, uh, back when my trade was bloodier. Can you elaborate? No one was ever satisfied with revenge. 
No one ever stopped at just one target. I wanted something more fulfilling. So, you sought new assignment? Yes, from someone higher up in the chain of authority, who allegedly knew what would suit me best. At first, I thought it infuriating. I was a manifestation of restlessness, tasked with carrying out bloody revenge, and my new creed was delivering bait goods to sad people. It does seem an unusual match. I still wish they could have given me a better conscious companion. So your handler is a giraffe. I'm assuming they ran out the more conventionally impressive animals. I see. Although, uh, the giraffe is how I met my wife. Please explain. She lived in a second-story apartment. It had a balcony. Lots of plants and flowers spilling over the railings. Can't miss it. She talked to herself up there when she was upset. I couldn't reach up there, but the giraffe could. So you bring her muffins. I would, and a small basket lifted up to the balcony. Then one day I saw she somehow lugged a party at a tree up there, and it never withered, never died, even with the giraffe taking bites of it every time I visited. And I knew, you sound happy. I think we are. She helps me bake sometimes. Maybe that was a redemption I've been working towards all these years. Addendum SCP-6323-2 Upon the second meeting with SCP-6323, the Foundation has offered him and his wife support for their activities. SCP-6323 declined, stating simply, We have a good thing going with the hand, but thanks for the offer.